now going to interview my neighbor, Melissa Eric. What age did you start to make a long-lasting friend? Uh, when I was very young, about age six, uh, I lived on a block where there was a whole bunch of kids. We'd go to each other's house after school, and play, and eat uh, dinner at each other's house. It was a lot of fun. What kind of, so, uh, what kind of friends do you make? What kind of friends? Um, just people that have similar interests. Um, when I was growing up, it would be kids that I went to school with or um, I went to church with. And now it's people that um, uh, have the same values that I do and enjoy doing what I like to do. Well, I still have a lot of friends that I made from school also. Uh, so do you spend most of your time free time with friends or family? Probably more so with friends and with family. Um, my family's not very big and it's they don't live close to me, so the people that I see most of the time are my friends. Now I will interview my father, Stephen Hask. What age did you start to, uh, to make long-lasting friends? I would say first grade, six or seven. I started making some friends, and then um, I've not stayed in touch with any of those. My only long-lasting friends are from college, and I'm still friends with today. Okay. What kind of friends did you make? Well, they were a lot like me. Either when I was a child and living out of the country, they had very similar experiences to me. So we had a lot in common with that. I think that if we were in the United States, we probably wouldn't have been in France because we were probably more different. But being in an unusual circumstance kind of made things common. Okay. Did you spend most of your free time with your friends or family? Well, I would say my parents were my only family as an only child. So um, I would spend more time with friends when I could. And then obviously the other group of time was with my mom and dad. Okay.